I first met Johnny personally when I started working for the Maple Leafs, but uh, he was he was a legend in the sense that uh, you didn't have to um, you didn't have to be living in Toronto or working here for the Maple Leafs to uh, to know about his spirit and to hear the stories of his generosity and his uh, and his charity and his uh, not to mention his accomplishments on the ice as a player. Well, I think the first thing that the players of today look at and respect is are his accomplishments on the ice and his Stanley Cups and his abilities, and that that immediately puts him in a certain place. And then to see him off the ice and just see that, uh, like I said, his generosity, his warmth, um, his humor, I think that uh, I think for a lot of players today, they look at somebody like that and they think that this is a great example of what we all aspire to be. Well, not too many people in uh, sports, you know, have a name where uh, it almost becomes a, a verb. Uh, so if you were playing street hockey and you poke check somebody, you yelled Johnny Bauer. I just Johnny Bauer'd you. So uh, before, I'd never seen Johnny play as a young kid, um, but I but I knew I knew that this was the man that invented the poke check uh, growing up here in Toronto. So. Uh, it wasn't until the last few years where I actually got to know him on a more personal level and uh, really saw up close what everybody talked about.